Okay, see, I am keeping three places here. One place is the background script where we need to run some results. Okay, when we are running a server side script, now we need to show the results, right? So, to show the results, I opened the background script. Okay, this is one thing, right? Second thing is this business rule page. Why this business rule page is required for me is in order to get the function names. So in order to get this this particular option, I am just uh, using this page also. Okay, this is a business rule page, and this is a uh, this is what page? This is background script page. Okay, don't confuse. And this is one more page where we can read about the data. Okay, if I want to read one function, I can read a function. I can also see some samples. Okay, so three things I opened. Okay, don't confuse. And this is maybe uh, it's just a another page where we can see the results in a manual way. Okay, is that clear my everyone? No confusions, right? Four pages I opened. Fine? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, see here, first thing is, okay, I'll run a query, first thing, okay, let me write a query here. Okay, so yesterday we we written a query, no? So the query is, okay, so where is the query? Incident description, right? So, there is a requirement, okay, first we will talk from uh, a, script a script point of view, In incident, okay, run, create a job, the job is to know first, okay, incidents with description is empty, okay, so what is our requirement is, if you find any incident with description is empty, then update with some text, I think we have seen the same example no, some time back, but running it. See, first we will start understanding it. Right? So, requirement is what? Okay, so if you find any incident with the null value, means no value, okay, you need to update it with this text. Okay, this is for some audit now. Okay, people will come and see audit and they should not see any incident without any description. This is what the meaning of this one. This is clear? Yes, no, please confirm. Yes, sir. Everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now write the query. Yes, sir. So see here, I want to do an in incident table now. So incident glide, glide is a function. Glide is an API. The glide will, okay, the glide will allow you to take the entire table as an object. Same like get reference we see in a G form. So glide API is a primary meaning. So this is, we don't, we don't get if you read it, but simple, okay. Glide is for database operations. You get everything, a table in a variable and then you can use Glide functions to operate it. Okay. So this is what the Glide record is. Same like GFARM, we have server side Glide record. Okay, I am using it. Now let me write the code. Okay. So I am taking the entire incident in GR. Then, okay, I am adding something. So add first function. Okay. So add... Uh, Okay, add query, right? So, what query I'm doing is, where is the incident form? I didn't open incident form. Huh? This one, okay. So, short disc incident description, huh? incident description, short description. So, short description field. So as we are looking for empty now, so just leave, leave it like this. 
okay so app, apply a filter gr dot query query the database with that filter okay then you get something some results in the memory okay and the memory is gr here okay now uh, while gr next this is the standard one to run a loop for matched things okay gr dot short description equal to okay this one I will explain every line ma. Okay, don't worry. Just first running it to understand the structure. Okay, we already seen it, but I am running it again. Okay, gr dot update method update function. Okay, so this is the code. This is the server side code. This simple code. What exactly it will do is I am taking the same code here. Okay, copy it. Okay, and paste it in a background script. Background script is a script. That you can run server side script one time. Okay, to to run for one time now you can use background script. Okay, so background script. What we are exactly doing is first. So first line is incident table. So going to incident table. You are getting incident table. Okay, in gr. So the incident table like maybe it is not exact meaning but simple to understand easily. Now incident table is coming to one variable gr. Okay, then gr dot add query. So here you are applying a query. This one. Okay, what is the query? Short description equal to empty. So this query you are applying. Okay, even though you can do it the same thing here also, ma. Okay, something like this. Incident description equal to null. And then, okay, gr dot query. That means run the query. Run it. So once you run it, okay, you get some output. Output means the result, so 17. So now GR means these 17 records. Okay, initially before running the GR, before running the query, it was all. Now you applied a filter and then ran it, then you got the matched, okay, matched items. Now for this 17, you are taking one by one using a while loop and updating the value of short description. So incident dot short description GR dot So here 17 is there, na? First it will take first one, okay? First record, if it is there, then update the value of that first incident with this one and update operation. Then it will go here, okay? Do you have second? You do you have second? Uh, so let's say, okay? Let me write here, okay? 17 incidents are matched, okay? Let's see this one. I am commenting this too, okay? For you people, okay? We'll write. Okay, so here you queried it, na? So print it. Print is something like G S dot print, like system dot print. Okay, uh, G R dot get row count. Get row count is also one more function we will see now. Okay. This this is another function, ma. We will see in few minutes. Okay. So here we will see the number, how many incidents are there. Okay. Now here I am printing. gs dot print of gr dot number. Okay, so for so I am not doing any operation directly because I am commented these two lines. Okay, but I am seeing whether my code is right or wrong. So this is the background script is the best place where you ch you can check whether your code is right or if you want to do some kind of uh, validations and all on server side. Okay. You can run like this. Okay, see now, in order to know whether my code is right or wrong, I kept one, one print here and one print here. So here I am printing the number, total number, and here I am printing the, okay, uh, the number of the incident. See, okay, now system how it, re how exactly it will run this. Okay, script seventeen, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. So. All 17 records number it is printed. Okay, now if you analyze it, no? if you analyze the script, okay. So here after queried under gr, how many rows are there? That means how many rows are there? Okay, these are rows one, two, three, four. Now this count get row count will get you the number. So 
here you are printing get row count okay in gr how many rows are there you are printing this one so it is printed 17 this is first one clear yes ma till this point everyone clear yes sir yes sir huh. now uh, the second thing is okay see here while loop while means see here you 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 are a, you are a kind of a teacher okay uh, there are uh, there are 30 people there in the classroom okay first filter is you ask like okay students who are all wearing uh, uh, the uniform okay form a different line so all uniformed people they made a different line okay so they are fine so who are not wearing the uniform na they uh, the teacher asked to come in a separate line so you here you got 17 people out of 30 so these people are not wearing the uniform okay now what pt people pt master or the t the master is doing is okay he is slapping everyone so this is an action he is doing okay so first he will come to the first one in the in the line okay so he is not he is not counting the number he is not counting the people count okay student count so he is he is walking in a line okay where all the people are uh, standard so now he is here okay he took the first one gr next so first one is there or not yes it is there so this one will always write write either true or false okay if it is true then this action will execute if it is false anyway we didn't write anything here okay so gr next means you have one item now yes okay first guy okay slap him then he is done so move to the next one second guy is there or not okay slap him third guy slap fourth guy slap 15th guy slap 16th guy slap 17th guy slap then 18th time while gr next so what is the value it will print for 18th time in this example the while gr next will print yes or no true or false 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 so as it is it doesn't have any record so as it is returning false so this will not execute and the loop will end okay so this is how it is processing so see here now if you see the results this printed 17 printed now it came here so it is first record so what is the first record it have s right so it printed the gr dot number so what is gr dot number incident dot number so if you see here okay what is the first one maybe it took some order i don't know what order it took it okay ah huh. so maybe reverse order okay let's take this one okay 51 it printed 51 okay then the code ended so now it again gone while gr next so yes second record is there so it took the gr dot number printed this one okay again it went to third one okay yes it is there print gr dot number again go to the next one fourth one it is there gr dot number print it so 16th time yes it is there print the gr dot number so 17th time yes it is there true while next is there now while next means it is returning true so it is true so it print the number so 18th time okay it doesn't have 18th incident in gr memory so it will end so the code if you see here this is the standard code that you do operations based on a filter okay maximum maximum this is the basic structure of service now server side script ma. okay first you take a query so you you go to a table using glide record first step then second step is apply a filter and then query okay so to apply a filter we have a few methods here okay so what are the methods are gr dot okay see add active query add encode query add join query okay all the query na add query so this six one two three four five six using this six and one more is there get also there using using this seven you can write any filter to match to get your requirement with applying after this filter then querying it this is the, this part is second part 
okay first part is this part second part is this part and third part is maybe your operation if you want to do for one one record maybe you use if here okay if always take first one okay if you want to do for all maybe you take while and you do update or you can do delete also if you want to if i want to delete all these 17 okay i no need to run a while also i, I can directly do gr dot update multiple or if i want to do one by one gr dot delete so each record will be deleted okay so this is the primary structure if you see any server side code now you need to stick to with this basic structure one is gliding it then querying it with your filter and then running your operation this is clear ma yes sir yes sir everyone please confirm ma yes sir uh, any notes here okay i feel everyone are fine fine right can i stick as fine because this is very 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 important ma okay if you understand this one then uh, our next class is very very simple but if you don't understand this one still it will be fine but uh, it's not that much easy this is fine right this is the same structure you use everywhere now going forward if you want to update operation clear na yes no please confirm okay yes. okay fine so now